Electra Walker, and in keeping with the theme of this week, today's moment in African American history will focus on another cultural icon that used her skills as an entertainer to become a unique history maker. Josephine Baker was born in St. Louis, Missouri in 1906. Her parents were in the entertainment industry and would often bring little Josephine on stage with them during their shows. At the age of 15, Baker ran off and started to perform on vaudeville shows. She flourished as a dancer and eventually moved to New York City during the Harlem Renaissance, which was a cultural celebration of African American life and art. A few years later, her success took her to Paris, France. She flourished as a dancer in Paris, and Baker became known as one of the most sought after performers due to her distinct dancing style and unique costumes. Although many of her audiences were mostly white, Baker's performances followed African themes and styles. When Adolf Hitler and the German army invaded France during World War II, Baker joined the fight against the Nazis. She aided French military officials <coughs> by passing secrets she'd heard while performing in front of the enemy. She transported the confidential information <coughs> by writing with invisible ink on music sheets. After many years of performing in Paris, Baker returned to the United States. Her return home forced Baker to confront segregation and discrimination she had not experienced since she was a child in St. Louis. She often refused to perform for segregated audiences, which usually forced club owners to integrate for her shows. In 1963, she was one of the few women allowed to speak at the March on Washington. Baker continued to fight injustices into the 1970s. Her personal life was attributed with her political movement. Throughout her career, she adopted 13 children from various countries. She took her children on, a road, on the road in an effort to show that racial and cultural harmony could exist. Baker remained on stage until her death in 1975. Thank you. 